Okay, guys, part two. We went ahead and had an 80 minute massage, and let me tell you, so relaxing. And then after, they gave us a foot massage when you went back to go get dressed. These are the lockers and everything that I'm showing you, and then I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Come on in. You guys, we just completed our first couple's massage and it was absolutely wonderful. I have my fan on because it gets humid here in Mexico, but look at how beautiful everything is. We're in the bathroom afterwards. This is the bathroom. She just oiled my feet after. Guys, my voice was so relaxed. It was wonderful. Beto was great. They also closed the sauna room due to COVID. I was showing you um, some of the rooms and things like that. There was two of them, but we That's I enjoyed COVID. it anyways. These are also with the sauna room. This is where we put our stuff at. The shower. I mean, not the shower, but the... Where you could wash your hands and everything afterwards. Or you could take a shower afterwards. There's two. This is abs absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel so relaxed. The guy that helped me, his name was Beto, and he was absolutely wonderful. Superior August service. August 4th, 2022 is our official 10-year anniversary date. We'll be back on our anniversary. I'm walking out. This is Doron Granada. I'm going to meet up with my husband now. Absolutely wonderful. I was asking my sunshine if he enjoyed his massage with Raquel. Honey, what was your experience after the massage? Amazing. It's just wonderful to be out here in this beautiful sunny sunny weather and um, my massage Raquel was just amazing. All the kinks and knots was worked out so can't wait till Thursday on the anniversary. Yeah. Guys, we got three massages this trip and they were all worth it. Let me tell you. Yes, my person was Beto and he was absolutely phenomenal. And I tell you, he got all those kinks out that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> so, relax. I feel relaxed now. Now it's time to go hang out and we're going to grab something to eat because we didn't eat this morning. So, we went straight to the massage. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye. I love this brick, it's pretty. <laughs> it's so peaceful and serene. You just hear just the water around you. You can just see all the beautiful scenery. It's just breathtaking. When I tell you there was so much to do mm -hmm. on that resort, you really didn't have to go out and about. Here's the resort map. We are right here where that little bullet is. This is where we're heading. La Marcha. Marche.
they had little maps everywhere to kind of help lead the way. So it was cool. I love that. All right, guys, this is where it is. The restaurant. Look at how pretty. Me and trees. It's cool, these shells or lights at the night. You guys, I kept messing up the name of the restaurant, so I kind of just went ahead and said I'll do a voiceover on this part because I had my Invisaligns in my mouth, so I feel like I talk with a lisp whenever I have them in. So, um, But this restaurant was absolutely gorgeous. This is where we went right after we had the 80-minute massage, and it was wonderful. Ooh. Probably everybody ate earlier. We were the only ones that didn't eat this morning. <laughs> yeah. We didn't want to be late to our appointment. Definitely outside or inside, I'm going to always choose inside, especially when that humidity hits y'all. It's something different, especially living in San Antonio for as many years as I did. We could either sit outside or inside. We're sitting inside. Oh, nice. One of the things I love about all the different restaurants, you have the hand sanitizer. Whenever you went up for food, they required that you wear a mask. That was mandatory. And I loved that because, you know, you have all this food that you're around. Look at all of that. There's desserts. There's different foods. There's bread. There's, you know, ice cream. And just there's so many variety of foods. And they also have where you can make um, quesadillas and things like that, where they make it for you. And that's what I actually chose to do. But my husband and I hadn't been out um, the, of the country in quite some time since the, you know, panoramic, a.k.a. C-19. So this was my first time going out. And I was so grateful and thankful that they did this because that was one of my huge concerns, especially leaving out of the country. Um, So... Man, this was fun. I absolutely enjoyed this resort. Everything about it was phenomenal. I thought I had the camera on the chef, but I didn't. So here I go. I turned it around. Oh, it's fresh quesadilla. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Yes, please. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Y'all, yeah, what the hand fat? Some of my footage was lost. Dog bite it. I was so upset. Sorry for the noxious alarm, but I wanted you to see the baby Coties. This was leading into Cafe Sisal. And let me tell you, this place is so beautiful. It's one of the newest areas that they built, but they have everything from ice cream, sorbet, coffee, all Hola. of that. Right? 
Right. Anything else? Huh? Look at all that coffee, y'all. Man, it looks so nice. This beautiful place. What I love is iced coffee when I when I do drink coffee. And I love the attention to detail. Every different place had beautiful flowers and they were all live. And so I was taking pictures of them, videos of them. It was just wonderful. Something I start doing is taking pictures of like Lay's chips and Sprite bottles in different languages. I did that when we were in China and when we were in Greece as well. I got to post all those videos of all our different travels. Am I the only one that thinks this is unique? I never had water in a glass bottle before, so that's why I did a video, y'all. Have you guys ever had bottled water in a glass? I haven't, so I'm here in Mexico, and this is the water, and it actually tastes really, really good. We're getting ready to have dinner, so my husband and I are taking some pictures while we wait. Our wait wasn't very long at all. We enjoyed ourselves. And let me tell you, all the restaurants were just top of the class, you guys. Just excellent service. Last night we had French. Tonight we're having Asian. Can't wait. My husband can't wait. He saw lamb on the menu, so he loves lamb, y'all. Bring the lamb on four, five, six plates. <laughs> He's really serious about that. But we're planning on enjoying ourselves. Just the quality time that we get to spend with each other is wonderful. All right, until then, bye. It's beautiful on the inside. After dinner, guys, we had the opportunity to watch MJ live. The impersonator did a really great job. Of course, I have to, you know, take the music out because I don't want any copyright strikes on my page. So I just went ahead and took the music out so that way you could at least see the performers in the back of dancers. It was it was great. They did quite a few shows that week. Burlesque show. They did a Circus Soleil, uh, Michael Jackson Live, a couple of other shows as well. And literally they had a live band too, which you'll see after every show. So basically you didn't have to leave off the resort unless you wanted to. It was, they had entertaining entertainment, excuse me, that whole time. And it was well worth it. This is the first time we went to Mexico where we actually did not leave the resort. Everything was there. The beach, the swimming pools, the entertainment, the live music. It just, everything was wonderful. Also like, you know, our massages and everything else. All right. The live band was fabulous, let me tell you. But of course, I have to take the copyright music out again. Um, if you want to watch some of the highlights, you can definitely go to like my clips that I have on YouTube Shorts and look at them live. They were gigging from the 80s music, 70s music to current music. They were they were jamming. They played Bruno Mars and they could sing too. I was like, go ahead, y'all. We enjoyed ourselves. We stayed there like we were young kids again, dancing and just enjoying ourselves. They also played country music, um, not heavy metal music, but they played rock music, um, old school and new school rock. And everybody had the opportunity to just enjoy themselves, young and old. I just loved watching some of the young and old people dance. A little known fact about my husband and I, I met him a long time ago at McClellan Air Force Base when he was a young airman. And so he asked me to dance. Um, I happened to just go for old school night and um, I met him there and I knew, knew my husband for years. And so it's just so cute just to sit there and um, listen to live music. And then when we hear or see a song that we like, we got up there and we danced and we danced the night away. It was so much fun. <laughs> Y'all, they played Get Down On It. I was like, hey. But of course, I had to go ahead and tune it out, which sucks because, like I said, I would love for you all to hear the music 
they were just jamming over there and everybody was out there dancing. We met people from Pennsylvania, um, San Antonio, actually not too far from where our home is. Um, we met this family. They were super, super sweet, enjoyed them as well. Look, I was just filming people. They had their wigs on. There's a couple. They were sweet. I believe she's originally from Germany, but they, her and her husband lived in um, um, Texas. So I'm trying to think of, I think Dallas, Texas is where they told me they lived. There were some people from Dallas. There were people from Houston, San Antonio. Oh my gosh. There were people from California. It was really fun. I love the fact that I got a chance to meet people from where we once lived and got to hang out with them. And it was just so fun to just know that everybody could just let their hair down and enjoy their time on their vacation. There's nothing better than going on vacation and just having a blast. And it's so cool because my husband and I, whenever we go on vacation, we always end up meeting like wonderful people. There's some people that we still keep in contact to this day um, from our vacation in Greece and in China um, and all those wonderful places, even Mexico as well. Here, they were jamming out to the music, y'all. They were playing La Bamba and they allowed for like the bands to, or different people to go ahead and just enjoy themselves. Look, people out there dancing and grooving away. Also, the band were taking turns introducing themselves. So you had the guitarist, you had the lead singers, you also had the drummers and all that good stuff. So it was just a lot of fun. Right here, they started playing September. You could tell they were just dancing and grooving out. Look, she done took the wig off, y'all. She was getting it. <laughs> he had on a wig too. I can't remember if he took it off right here, but um, just great. They also took request songs, so and they knew all the music guys. That's what I was really impressed by. They were playing everything. They didn't leave anyone out, and I just love the fact that it was so inclusive with the music and just with the everybody that was there. Everybody um, that just decided to get on the dance floor. You had the the older people, then the younger people. Yeah, I know you heard the doorbell ring. Comment below if you heard that doorbell ring. Yes, we were having a blast. Look, now everybody kept asking my husband to come on out there and dance. I don't have a problem with dancing, guys. I can just get out there and dance, no problem, even by myself or with people. But my husband came out and danced because he enjoyed this particular song. Guys, guess what? After the live music, then they had the DJ. Yes, the DJ kept the party going as well. When I tell you that this resort thought of everything and we had so much fun. I just remember back in the day when my husband and I were in our 20s and we used to love to just party and have a good time. Man, this kind of brought back those memories and things like that. So we had fun on vacation, let me tell you. So this is going to be the ending of part two, guys, because like I said, it's a lot. We have a lot of video footage, but I just want to say thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on our next video, part three. Bye!